This is Tory boss Simon Wilson, who thinks Wilson, who actually thinks that six pounds seventy would be enough, and that we should be grateful. My reply to him is fuck off, and um, it's disgusting. This is exploitation, and our economy is run on cheap oversupply labour. Great for men like Wolfson and Philip Green. But for those stuck on getting jobs or forced to take pay, uh, pay cuts, because uh, polls can get polls can get cheaper. I believe that um, it just makes us so angry, really, because men like Simon Wilson want us to remain part of the EU because it's advantageous to him, but not to the millions of workers who are earning seven pounds sixty nine or less. And it's not just getting minimum wage jobs or low skilled jobs like being a cashier or or stacking shelves at Tesco. It in professional jobs, people are being forced to take pay cuts because if Europeans can do the job cheaper. If you're in a if, if you're in a profession, in a professional job, um, I don't know, uh, like like in a solicitor's firm, for example, or in a, in a working in estate agents, for example, there too, the market, the job, the wage market is being uh, targeted, and from Nearly every single job you look at, many people are being paid less than they were 10 years ago. And normally over a 10 year period, wages go up slightly. But they, they, they've they actually fallen. People are earning far less than 10 years ago. And the cost of living is rising. And who the hell is George Osborne trying to kick? Tories like uh, Lord Wilson here are so out of touch, it's unbelievable. And this is why uh, people have people have disconnected with the establishment. Uh, because it's just mind-boggling how he can actually say this. I'd like him to try and live on uh, £6.70 an hour. I would like him to see how, how, it, how hard it is. Ship them all as well, make it work in the next four months, and force them to live with some rotten bedsit for a month. I mean, this man is so out of touch, unbelievable. And it just shows you how the Tories buy wealth, uh, buy people off. So we've got this next man who's pointed as a lord. Uh, I've been to Netsky a couple of times, I only bought a few things from there, but it is overpriced as fuck. I won't, I won't actually go in there, do you know what I mean? Um, but like I say, the minimum wage should be at least £8 now and now. Now I believe people should be paid for what they do. Uh, the care industry is a big um, problem uh, because majority. I mean, if you look at the care home, uh, people who own care homes, the care home industry, they are making millions out of vulnerable elderly people, yet they pay their staff very little minimum wage for doing that sort of work, uh, washing backsides, uh, feeding residents. Um, you, you got to think about what they do. I mean, it would be your mother or grandmother being cared for there. And... These are basically just slaves uh, to the care home system. Now, obviously, if I was running, if I was running a shop, I would pay staff the minimum wage. But obviously, I wouldn't. I would want the government to increase the wage to eight pound an hour uh, now, and then increase it by fifty p per year, because we have the fastest growing economy in G twenty. I'm sure we can afford it. And I'm sure Mr. Wilson here, who's a multi multi millionaire, will be able to afford it as well. Awful man. Men like Mr. Wilson here makes me make me cringe.